The trusty farm dog is often far more than a loyal companion. A dog, or in many cases dogs, are an indispensable part of running a farm. What's more, they're far cheaper to employ and can outperform most humans. So what makes a great working dog and how can they be improved? That's the aim of a nationwide survey being conducted by the University of Sydney. Come, right up, right up, right up, right up, back here, come, come. We marvel at their speed, their stamina, their agility and their ability to wrangle the most difficult recalcitrant stock. They work in all manner of environments, from the harsh, hot, dusty inland plains to the soft, rolling, rain-swept hills of southern Australia. They herd everything from domestic stock to feral animals to reindeer in the Arctic. We admire their keen instinct, their individual personalities, the way they seem to love their work. And we love them for their companionship and loyalty. But more than that, for many farmers, the farm dog is simply an indispensable asset. People try and compare, they ask me, you know, you hear people ask how, how many humans does a dog replace, etc. how many workmen does a, a dog replace. Well, I, there's jobs that we see that dogs do that no amount of humans could do. Like I've just, well, yesterday I weaned 400 lambs and put them out into a paddock. Um, I, could have a, the, I could have a football team here to try and muster those again and they wouldn't be able to do it because weaned lambs just run everywhere. They don't have much respect for, for control. And, um, but I could go out there with three or four kelpies and I'd have them mustered in no time. So they can do what no human can do. We celebrate farm dogs in verse and song. The Western Victorian town of Casterton, the birthplace of the Australian kelpie, even stages an annual festival that attracts worldwide interest. Australian farm dogs encompass a range of breeds. The kelpie, the border collie and the Australian cattle dog are the principal working breeds and all have evolved through more than a century of careful selective breeding. But how do we measure the real worth of a working dog? And how can their breeding, performance and training be improved? That's the aim of a study being undertaken by the University of Sydney's Veterinary Science Faculty. There's really very little scientific research on farm dogs in Australia, so what we're setting out to do with this survey is to gather a whole host of data on breeding, training and, and performance in working farm dogs uh, by their handlers and their breeders. Science has brought enormous gains to livestock production in recent years, but perhaps we're guilty of taking for granted our canine friends. Working farm dogs have been the poor cousin to the livestock uh, breeding and, and genetic analysis work and the Rural Industries Research and Development Corporation, Meat and Livestock Australia and the Working Kelpie Council of Australia decided that um, this area needed to be investigated and, and the body of knowledge move forward so that we can really improve the work that these dogs do and, and, and help the farmers. We really haven't been able to quantify uh, how valuable these dogs are and there's always anecdotal discussions that they're at least uh, worth one human on the farm, but it could be much greater than that. Last year at the Casted and Kelpie auction, a prized stud dog known as Tom from Tasmania fetched a world record price of $12,000. And if that seems like a princely sum, then some quick sums will put that price into perspective. Yes! 12000 drop record. If he works for another eight years, he's really only costing his owner $1,500 a year. Um, so he's far, far cheaper than, than, a, than a human worker on a farm. We're looking for anyone that, that has a working farm dog, whether that be uh, in sale yards, uh, on large uh, commercial properties, um, small scale producers, uh, even competition trialers. We're really just wanting to get as much information as we can so that we can start to understand the, the, the uh, population of working dogs in Australia and the, the impact they have um, in various uh, agricultural sectors. The farm dog survey will collate what traits farmers value most in their working dogs. The groundbreaking study aims to help mould the farm dog of the future. If we are able to uh, complete gene behaviour associations and identify the, the genes that are responsible for some of the key traits that, that make a successful working dog, then we can uh, use that information to assist breeders in selecting more appropriate breeding stock for yard work or 
paddock work or a combination of both. Hopefully we can then use that information to assist handlers choosing the dogs that will work best with them and their uh, farming situation.